Phil Rudd, the drummer for ACDC, is a master at simplicity and playing for the song. Now, this is a great song because at the beginning, he doesn't start, he just does the hi-hat for two measures. I love these songs that give you an opportunity to kind of ease into the song. So for two measures, we're just gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then we come in with that heavy guitar riff, right? That's what we've gotta to learn to sing before we play the drum part, all right? The reason is, is because all too often we focus on what is played, how to count that, and that's very important. But for me, the song is first, and so I wanna also be able to sing the part, and sometimes that makes playing it easier, as well as like be able to count it. For this song, I've had a six-year-old in their first drum lesson playing the parts to this song, because it's so singable, all right? So the part that we're gonna learn to sing, and if you wanna know a really good way to do this, you can stand up, you don't have to stand up with anybody in the room, and stomp your feet. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and so you can sing that part, don't go any further because that is the guitar part that is gonna help you play your drum part. The basic drum beat's really simple. One and three on the kick drum, two and four on the snare drum, eighth notes on the hi-hat. One and two and three and four and one. All right, so this is a four bar loop in the verse, and the problem comes in that fourth measure. Why? Because we have the baka, 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 baka. The way that we, what I would do is I would sing that part first, and I would play to singing it, and then I would come back and learn how to count it. That seems to be the easiest way to teach this one. So it's gonna go ba, ba da da, ba da da, ba da 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 da, ba, ba da da, ba da da, baka, ba da, ba da, ba da. Okay, so it goes one and two E and a three E and a four E and one and two E and a three E and a four E and. Now at the intro of the song, he does that once, then he plays the part through, and this time instead of playing it on the hi-hat, he plays it on the crashes. Let me play that whole intro for you. Now that's where the verse starts. The first four measures are the same as the four measures in the intro when you come in with the first with the full drum kit. The second four measures of that verse, the fill at the end of it is just a little bit different. It, he plays the part that hits on the hi-hat, but he plays on the snare drum for E and uh instead of for E and. So it goes. Now it's important to know he plays that verse the same way twice, so he plays it verse one and verse two, he plays it exactly the same way with that eight measures. Phil Rudd is very, very consistent with his parts. He's a very much a song-driven drum part uh, player. So now let me play the verse part for you, still closing the hi-hats, eight measures, and I'm gonna play the hits and the fill just like he plays them. Now that's both verses. Now that we get to the chorus, we need to open that hi-hat a little and we're playing the same drum part.
Now, one of the things you'll notice is on the course, he crashes on every measure. This is something that he does quite a bit, actually, uh, within their music. So don't be afraid to do that. I know sometimes it's like, don't use the crash every measure. He actually uses it. Another band, Parliament, uh, Parliament and the Funkadelics, they also would use the crash symbol uh, very frequently, almost every measure in some of their songs. So that's gonna sound like this. Now, at the last two measures of the chorus, he goes, I'm back in black, three and four, and ba, 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 blah, all right? So let's play those last two measures. It's gonna go one and two and three and four and one e and a two and three, four. Okay, remember, boom, two, doom, doom, back, boom, ga, 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 blah. On beat four, he plays a flam. A flam, if you watch some of my other uh, beginner uh, song lessons, a flam, what's the other one that they use a flam in? Maroon five, sugar. If you, wa if, if you want to play a flam, it's two notes. It's a primary note, and it has a grace note that comes right before it. It's one of the, one of the 40 rudiments. And so what you want to do is act like they're almost attached on a fishing pole, like wherever this one goes, that one goes, right? This note is going to be softer. The first note's softer, and directly attached to this one, this one is louder. Instead of in unison, they're slightly offset. Now it's not this. It's so let me play those last two measures of the chorus. Now let me zoom out a little bit and play the last four measures of the chorus. One and a two and three and four. Here's the easy part about this song. The second verse, it's exactly the same as the first verse. The second chorus, it's exactly the same as the first chorus. The guitar part changes just a little bit in the solo part, which comes after that second chorus. So the guitar part at the end of that four bar phrase goes, dun, ba -na -na, ba -na -na, four, bum, 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 bum. Okay, so it goes one and two and three and four and one. You hit crashes there. One and two and three and four and So it's still a four bar loop, we just have that new hit pattern that goes with the guitar pattern. Let me play that four bar loop for you. Now we're at the hardest part of this song. The hardest part of the song is the turnaround from the solo into that chorus, okay? So the last measure, instead of going one and two and three and four and one, like we have been, it goes one and two and bum, 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 that hit that we were doing earlier. So one and two and three E and a four E and Even if you're a beginner, sing this part. One and two and ba, 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 ba. That's it. One and two. Ba, 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 ba. One and two and three and a four and one and two and a three and a four. That's the count for it. But if we play it slowly, Now, at the beginning of that chorus, he actually plays what we would call uh, a drag. But you don't need to worry about that. I would just play a flam like you learned earlier. So. So let me play that entire chorus after the solo. I'll start two measures before it.
Now the bridge section sounds a little scarier than it actually is. So what we do on that bridge is we choke on the downbeat of one, it's one, two. So we crash and then choke it. We sing that guitar part. Ba -da 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 Black bot. Okay? So it's one and two and three and four and a flam on the and of four, and then we hit the crash again. Two and three and four. Then we have that hit that we've done before. Ba da ba da ba da. I love I'm singing so much in this lesson. So it's And the groove we go into after that one, it's gonna be kick, crash, and snare on the downbeat of every beat. Three, four. On beat four, we play four and with the kick drum. So it's gonna go. The drum fill at the end of that goes crash with snare and kick, one E and a, uh, two E and a. Uh. Let me play the end of that last chorus, so the last two measures, into that bridge section. And now for the last drum fill, you have the last chorus, which you plays just like the other choruses, and then we have two measures that kind of mimic the two measures at the front of the song where he's just hitting the hi-hats. So we have a crash, two, three, four, one, two, three, and a four, and. Three, and a four, and. Three, and a four, and. So that last chorus goes just like this. <laughs>